Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 11th, 2023. Well, those bulls pushed on through yesterday, moving on up. We um, actually had the QQQ moving up through its 50 day moving average, which is rather remarkable. And we continue to do that on kind of, well, um, lowering. Uh, market breadth. Um, so we'll want to watch that pretty closely. But overnight, we had Asian markets doing a really good job. Asian markets were up across the board with Hong Kong performing the best. European markets this morning are mixed and relatively flat after a really big day for them yesterday. And then oil prices are ever so slightly lower. But the big story this morning is the long bond, the tens, the the 30s continue to decline rather sharply here this morning, helping uh, futures to stay a little bit higher, even as the short end of the curve on those bonds remain um, significantly inverted. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. How about we take a look at these charts, try to set aside our bias and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, as you can see here on Friday, the Dow had just kind of a, a big old spinning top candle up here, um, spinning top doji, trying to um, figure out what to do heading into our um, PPI number here this morning and looking at this chart you can see we did break through this resistance and then kind of pulled back to to just below that level and left well maybe a little bit of uncertainty on the day the uh, lowering of the bonds is pushing those bulls a little bit higher this morning we'll see if they'll be able to maintain that um, with the data coming but as you can see if we can push through this area well then that next level up here would be right up here in the chart so if the bulls can follow through we've got that bigger resistance area that may be pending here in the diamonds if the bears were to come up with any inspiration you could also see how we're fairly close to this price support area in the chart and we could easily fail that and if we were to fail that I would suggest there's a little teeny tiny level right through here that we might be able to push back into there and hold into that area. But if the bears really get going on the data today, we could push on through to that next level down. So keep a close eye on that. Now, if we take a look at our moving averages, you can see what we're doing here is we're trying to test our 200 day moving average here in the diamonds. And we're pressing back up in the pre-market trying to, trying to, you know, put on a, a real strong face of confidence here heading into that number this morning um, in the pre-market and trying to get folks to engage to push this on higher. But we'll want to watch that closely. Remember, if we were to fail here around the 200-day moving average, that could really uh, drive us lower. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Also, moved up nicely yesterday and held on better than the diamonds did. As you can see, we pushed up through this price resistance that I talked about yesterday and we held on to it. And we even pushed up here and early in the day, we pushed up and we tested this bigger level of price resistance in the chart. Now I've left that green up here because as you can see, when we fell, we never really fell through or even rallied back to test that as resistance. If this were to fail in here, here, then um, I'm going to turn that line red. But as you can see right now, we have that push here in the pre-market. We may be up here testing this again today. If we can pop through that, well, that really changes things quite a bit. We've really recovered all the major resistance areas in the chart. We'd be looking at an area right up in here and maybe looking at the downtrend um, as the next area of the chart 
where we could catch a failure in the market. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration, you could see we could easily push back down through that little price support right there. And if we look across the, right here, there's a little low right in there. We might find a little bit of price support somewhere here in the middle of that. But if the bears really are inspired, I think we could push on lower here in the chart. And if we take a look at our moving averages here, you can see that we rallied up into that 34 exponential moving average yesterday and then we backed away just below it. We're still below our 50 day moving average and we do want to recognize the fact that that 50 day moving average is declining and it happens to be right in an area here where we've got some price resistance in the chart that we'll want to be watching. So uh, just kind of keep a close eye on that. If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ is getting closer and closer to sounding the all clear here in the market. But you'll notice that as we pushed up here yesterday, again, we backed away. We didn't like the look of that resistance up there um, by the end of the day. We're trying to pump it here just a little bit in the pre-market, but you'll notice up here we have a big double whammy of resistance all the way across here, all the way across here. There is a big level of price resistance in there in the chart. So if those bulls can find that inspiration today and push up into here, then that would be pretty darn logical. If they can push into there, we'll see if that resistance holds. If they can push through that, which I think is gonna take a pretty good number in that PPI to make that occur, and it's certainly possible, then to push through that, we're probably looking at some resistance levels right above there in the QQQ. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration in the data today, again, wouldn't take a whole lot to drop us down through that level right there. And if um, that continues, well, I don't see a whole lot. There may be a little intermediary um, support level right there in the chart. Um, but I think there's a pretty good chance we would push on back down and retest this area of the QQQ. Now, if we take a look at our moving averages here, you can see we pushed above that 50-day moving average. And we've done that before. One of the things that I want to always point out, and this is something that um, I used to do all the time, is I would look at the chart for what I wanted it to be, and I would fail to look at it for what it really is. So pushing through the 50-day moving average is the great first step. Now prove you can hold it. Because you can see we've done this before where we broke up here and then we just couldn't hold that 50-day moving average. So as we push up here, it's gonna be really imperative that we get some kind of proof that we can hold that because popping through and reversing can create that next lower high along the downtrend here and be a real problem for us uh, longer term. So watch that close. And if we take a look at our IWM, IWM still the weakest of the indexes, QQQ the strongest, and it's strongest based on about seven, uh, the Magnificent Seven are the stronger movers in the entire um, market right now. But if we take a look at IWM, they don't include any of those Magnificent Seven. And you can see how it has lagged well behind the rest of the market. Now we did break through this downtrend, so we gotta give that to the bulls yesterday. They pushed up through here, and that's a nice relief rally here in the chart. Keeping in mind that if the bulls can continue to find inspiration in here, we've got a little bit of potential resistance maybe right through that area that we reacted to yesterday. If we can push on through though, push on up into here, that would be a nice, really nice relief rally for the for IWM and you'll notice that we're coming into that uh, downtrend here as well at the same time. So keep a close eye on that. If the bears find inspiration here today, pushing back down to test this level, might be the likely location and if that were to fail then maybe we're pushing on down to see if we can hold this downtrend line as a little bit of support bounce in there someplace watch that carefully pushing on down here creates that w bottom formation or that potential double bottom and we see that pretty commonly in the market those double bottoms so watch carefully for that possibility if the um 
looking at the, excuse me, not if, but looking at our moving averages here, you can see the problem that we're coming into. Our 50 is about ready to cross down through that 200 day moving average, creating what we call the death cross. And you'll see that that happens to be right along the neckline of that big head and shoulders pattern. So if we have enough energy to rally back up into there, that's going to be a really big resistance level to potentially get through. We'll want to watch that carefully if we have that energy. If we fail anywhere near um, this high right in here and push on down, well, we're just going to see that 50 crossing down um, hard here in um, the IWM chart. Not a good situation here for the small caps. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX yesterday went ahead and pushed on down, but I gotta say it really wasn't all that impressive of a move considering how much we tried to move earlier on in the day. We did push down, down around 17 handles here for the close. And the good news here for the bulls is we did break this little upside trend. So we did break down through that. So if the bulls can continue to push today, as they're suggesting um, here in the pre-market, maybe we press down in here and test this area of support and see whether that holds a really good GDP, or not GDP, but a uh, PPI number could maybe push us even lower to test these next levels in the chart. However, if the bears find anything to um, gain some energy on here today in these numbers, we'll want to be watching for those resistance levels to potentially break to the upside here in the VIX. And we do want to keep in mind that despite the pullback here, if I were to draw a line down the downtrend here, that break, we could still hold this support area in here and come right back up. So. Uh, keep an eye on the VIX. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122, we pushed up earlier in the day. We were up here in the bearish reversal zone. So that, <laughs> that shows you just how much um, we have been oversold in the market that just the rally that we've seen lately pushed us back into the uh, bearish reversal zone. The gap up this morning right now is likely to push us all the way back up in here. So keeping in mind, if we continue that bullishness this morning, we're, we're gonna be running into that zone up here where we're um, running out of um, upside momentum and upside room. Now, the good news is if the PPI number is really, really strong, we could have a big point move to the upside and still stay within. Remember, T2122 cannot go above 100. Can't do it. And so watch that area up here. If we pop up into this area, that's opening up a pretty good opportunity for that move uh, back to the downside. So watch carefully there. If the bulls find inspiration, we're gonna look at that up here. If the bears find inspiration, we're gonna look at this down here. And I think anything is possible when it comes to those numbers today. Just keep a close eye on that. Our T2108, I've got it. Our T2108, as you can see, had a better day yesterday, pushing up only about 27.5% of the stocks above their 40-day moving average. You will want to recognize that we got some big resistance levels here in the chart. But the good news is if I draw a trend line down here, we um, kind of broke through that uh, downtrend here in the chart. But we've got some big resistance levels in this chart to really start breaking through. It was impressive, um, but not overly impressive yesterday. As you can see, it, it, the, the rally that we're getting is largely due to tech giants. A lot of the internal stocks of the market are just not moving that much. And those that are moving are just rallying back to downtrends. There's a lot of those and, and big price resistance levels of the chart. So we're rallied right up the, to the place where they could fail heading into this number. We'll wanna uh, keep a close eye on that. I think that's one of the reasons I think anything is possible today. If we take a look at our T2107, our T2107, well, that continues to rally as well, but you'll notice 37% uh, percent of the stocks above their 200-day moving average. And again, 
just not enough to get you know um, a real big confidence that we're really rushing back in that the bulls are regaining control we're right at that point if we catch some bad data here we can fail if we catch some really good data we can pop on through and maybe start to relieve some of that pressure back here into um, resistance levels of the chart so watch that one our uh, t2101 this is interesting here yesterday um we we tried initially in the day to really push the breadth to the upside and then by the end of the day it faded back so we still have that hope that this hook in here that we see is going to um, provide enough inspiration to the bulls that they'll be able to push through and really expand on the buy wave of the market if we can continue that today to the upside based on data really expand that enthusiasm here and bring that momentum up above this area where we've been struggling with for so long if the bears were to find inspiration today and and push we don't want to see that bearish inspiration increasing that breadth of the market and i think we run the risk uh, both sides of that either bullish or bearish let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today and what i've been talking about here all morning of course is that um, PPI report this morning if we take a look right in here we've got um, mortgage applications we got Bauman that spoke earlier this morning we've got mortgage applications here this morning we'll want to be paying attention to that's been problematic and likely to see some um, not so great numbers um, with the bond yields that we've had here lately so watch that one and then this ppi number we'll want to be keeping a close eye on it now consensus is suggesting that the month over month headline number declines but the year over year goes up remember um, energy prices play a big role in producer uh, those producer prices so We'll want to watch that because our energy has been kind of stubbornly high for uh, the last month. Watch that carefully. I think anything is possible in there. We've got Atlanta uh, business um, uh, Fed uh, inflation expectations. Don't think we'll react much to that at all. We've got Waller speaking. We've got a, a bill auction. We've got Bostic speaking. And we've got a 10-year note auction here at 1 o'clock. And then we're going to um, jump into the FOMC minutes. Now, remember the minutes, we're probably not going to learn anything more. The, the, the Fed members have been pretty hawkish, and um, I kind of suspect they're going to stay relatively hawkish. They may be starting to soften just a little bit in here, but um, uh, watch that carefully. We may not learn much, but we, we're likely to get some whipsaw reaction in the the market as that number comes out or as that data comes out and please keep in mind that after we get through this up uh, up here this morning unless it's just stellar number we may fade um, in volume here as we wait for that to come out today so it could get light and choppy through that middle part of the day and then remember um, we're not going to get through much of the morning and the next thing we're going to be thinking about in these data points over here on uh, Thursday. So keep in mind we're not done with the potential volatility of this market this week. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. And you know what? There are no notable earnings for today. Um, nothing to report on those because um, just kind of a little bit of a quiet period before we kick off the next um, quarter earnings. Remember, the big bank reports are going to begin on Friday, so we have that uncertainty coming into Friday as well. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if you guys could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you believe these videos, are useful or helpful to your trading if you could do me that favor and leave that brief comment 
click that thumbs up button. Remember, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, just a just an emoji helps an awful lot uh, for the video. So thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at some of these charts and remember these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to follow your rules, your trading guidelines. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. First off, if you remember, I had mentioned TBT or excuse me, TLT um, yesterday to watch for a potential short squeeze. Well, um, the, with our long bonds falling here this morning, we may be in the the midst of that short squeeze now. We're really pushing here in the pre-market on this move. So keep an eye on this. If we were to break this downtrend in uh, TLT or hold a higher low anywhere in here, that short squeeze could really start to change things here in um, those bonds in TLT. So watch that closely. There may be something coming up in here to pay attention to and you'll notice that the US dollar is continuing to weaken here just a bit. Now this has been really problematic for the market seeing that dollar strengthening. It's been a really a big problem for countries around the world. Now we're starting to slip out from underneath that um, upside trend. Maybe we come back into a support, little support right in here and bounce or perhaps we come on back and test this area of support. But any relief right now in the US dollar is probably a good thing for the market. Now, that being said, we're a little bit mixed on and a lot of uncertainty when it comes to energy. If the dollar pulls back, we will typically see energy go higher. And we're whipping around here quite a bit with the uncertainty on this uh, Middle Eastern war. Uh, keep a close eye on that. And I and I want to mention this. I think the market is really underestimating um, the impact of this war. Now, I could be wrong, and I hope I am. But I do believe this is going to be more of an extended um, conflict than what a lot of people want to believe. And I think it's going to get a little bit more severe um, just based on um, what I'm seeing over there. Um, again, my opinion. But if we are um, getting a little bit complacent on this war right now, it could easily raise its head here um, and get ugly. Uh, and it really surprised a lot of folks. So be careful here. And if that were the case, I'm going to suspect that oil could go on higher if that conflict expands, particularly if Iran happens to get involved uh, more here. Uh, they are funding this, but it'll be interesting to see. Just, just kind of keep that in the back of your mind and, and watch that closely. We may be um, a little bit weary of these conflicts and we may be underestimating the impact that this could really have. So watch that carefully. Um, let's take a look at a couple other stocks. Um, um, Intel. Intel um, holding up into here looking really good. I've made this entire line a um, an alert in the chart. I like the fact that we're holding this upside trend. It doesn't report to the 26, so it is possible. It is very, very possible. Intel could continue to rest in here against that resistance. It's also possible that we could fail as we've done here before. If if the data continues to support big tech to move to the upside, Intel may actually break through up here. And I would be looking for that opportunity up here. And even if it pulls back to the trend, looking for that next opportunity to the upside in Intel, looking pretty good there. If you want to see a stock that's maybe coming up off a of bottom, you're going to have to wait here. Um, for uh, tomorrow, we've got earnings coming in on WBA tomorrow, but watch this one. A nice little inverted head and shoulders pattern in here. Watching that closely, and you can see where we've slipped out from underneath this downtrend in the chart. There may be some opportunity here after we get past that earnings report. There may be um, um, a big move in here that pops on earnings to the upside, and then I'd wait for that next entry. Uh, WBA has been beaten to death here. Perhaps it's time to start picking this up um, as a value play if those earnings are good. So watch that carefully. Um, some of the healthcare. Um, I've been keeping an eye on. One that I've been watching in here, in here is PFE. Um, 
this thing has just been beaten to death here to the downside. Not saying it can't go on lower because it certainly can, but we're starting to hold a little bit of a pattern in here. And again, we may have that inverted head and shoulders pattern to watch in the chart. Doesn't mean that it's an all clear. We've got a lot of resistance here in the chart to be paying attention to. But if we can hold this higher low, we might start getting that move to the upside recovering some of this and some of these drug drug makers watch that closely um, also we might want to be keeping a close eye on um, some of the stocks in retail there, there it's a select few stocks that have done um, relatively well tj maxx however is starting to show a little bit of bearishness now as you can see pushed up here push down, push back up, testing that resistance in the chart. This is starting to look like a possible failure. You might want to look for that next possible short, that downtrend to begin here in TJ Maxx. Um, watch that one closely. Now WDC, not a, obviously not a retail stock, but WDC continues to hold in this upside trend. And we're pressing against a pretty substantial resistance level in the chart. If we can get some bullishness here in the market, we might just see that push on through. Watch that one closely. And then I've been kind of impressed with um, um, steel. Steel continues to hold in here pretty strongly. If the dollar weakens, that could help steel. Now, um, I did have a position in this. I took those profits yesterday. Um, I wasn't looking to hold this into the earnings report. It was just a quick trade. And that may be a, uh, may have been a mistake. If we can break through this um, neckline right here of this head and shoulders pattern, watch that carefully in here. Popping through there, if the dollar falls, there may be some interest in here for that to push on up to the next levels. And then take a look at US Steel. US Steel continuing to hold in here on this nice move after gapping up, resting against that support. There may be some upside opportunity here as well in steel if though if that dollar continues to pull back now there's other metals that are looking good as well i would take a look at gold and silver really popped up here recently but i'm running out of time so i want to wish you guys all a fantastic day wish you great results in your trading thank you so much for listening and supporting this channel i truly truly appreciate it i'll see you right back here bright and early thursday morning i wish you all the very best